Hello, it's Nick, and in today's video I want to talk about creating decorative elements in Figma using popular plugins. And I want to review top 5 plugins that I use in my design. And the first one is called Blobs. Blob is a semi-organic shape that we can create and it's, it looks really great for the, as a decorative object. And this plugin allows us to create a different kinds of a shape, a different level of complexity and plays with uniqueness. And once we create the object, it will create a vector for us. So we can double click it and modify it based on our needs. For example, we can make it even more unique uh, based on our needs. The next one is called Get Waves. And as you probably know, it allows us to create a wave. We can play with the surface of the wave, for example, creating more edges. And we can also play with the shape of the wave to, for example, make it squarish or roundy. And once we will create the wave, it will create a vector object similar to the previous plugin. I mean, we can double click on it and modify it. The next one is called uh, three waves and it creates a 3D wave based on the initial object. And in order to demonstrate how it works, I will use the image that I have in this design here. I will select it and then I will enable the plugin for this image. So once we will enable, we'll see that we can play with the shape, height, density, brightness, darkness, and other things of the image, other properties like an offset, for example. We can make the shape more complex, play with the height and make it more dense. Once we will generate the object, it will create the object for us. But the difference in comparison to the previous plugins, it creates an image, not a vector-based object. So you need to be careful. So you cannot use it on all kinds of design. Um, okay, the next one in our list is called the uh, noise and texture. And the plugin generates a noise, which is great for the background for some UIs. It has a really nice collection of a noise. Uh, my favorite is uh, stairs. And we can play with the different properties like a size and uh, smoothness, for example, make it more smooth and more pointy. And play with the distance, make it close or far away, for example. Once we add it to the canvas, it will also create an image for us that we can use for the, our UI as a background, for example. And the last plugin on our list is called uh, Morph. And it's actually a collection of different styles that we can apply to the objects such as a skeuomorphism, neon, glitch, reflect, glassy, and gradient. And uh, I will show you how you can pair different plugins and use them together. For example, here I want to create a wave that I will use as initial object for the another plugin uh, for the morph. So I will select the object and uh, I will use a reflect, which will create the copy of the initial object um, uh, with a gradient style applied to it. So it's a great uh, a style to use in the background and other things where you can want to create a sense of dimension. Uh, another one that I really like is called uh, uh, Glitch. So we will create the object and we will apply more Glitch style and it will create a copy of the, this object, this element, and it will apply the morph, um, the glitch style to it. So for example, here you can see that this um, rectangle has a really interesting color combination and effect. And we can play with different properties like a glitch amount and uh, offset. So once we will apply it, it will create the object, vector base object that we can use. I will leave the links to the plugins in the description and that's all. Thank you.